them municipalities or anybody straighten that out or do yeah, you yeah. No, no, actually here here's the okay, we're coming in and doing an audit. And I always tell the people that I've got a real bad habit. I I'm I think I'm good at being an auditor, but I'm also an accountant and I can't stand if I see something I think would be more helpful. And that's what I always tell people when we do an audit. I hate to say uh, we're a necessary evil to create legislative mission. They require a good not. My reaction is, or the firm's reaction is, always says, but well, as long as you have to have an audit, let's try to do it so it's not fighting people to say something positive to come out. So if I come out and I'm dealing with something and look at it and say, well, there's a better way to do this, I'll sit down and Something's really messed up. Trust me, I will always tell you that it's messed up. I'm not into it. And, and there's a reason for that. And it, there are a lot of times they go around here. Um, it's, it's too hard to get a CPA license. It's real easy to lose one if you're not paying attention to what you're As long you know, as much as I get along with everyone, as comfortable as I am coming out and dealing with the people. Trust me, if there's something wrong, you may have to be the person to know about that. If it's really wrong, I'm kind of referred to report it to the city or district and not consider it only. Obviously, I don't feel that way. Yeah. And obviously, we have to come out now. But like I said, you know, you see me when I come out and, you know, I'll be sitting there talking to Kathy and say, Kathy, can't you do it? Why do you have to be cute that's so painful? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you ever have to worry about that? <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 so. Then if, I just flipping through this, on page 10, yeah. you got these line items with the, the fun hand and the panels over here. This liquor law, of course, why is, why is that, where did that fun come from? Yeah. To send them to one place. That's what I mean. If we got that kind of money in there, 
is the state looking at us and saying, why aren't you spending that? Why aren't you spending that? We're, we're giving you that money for that purpose, and you're not spending it. Would you look at that, John, in, the, in that aspect? Or no. You mean, do I look at the need to spend more money? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just wonder how the state looks at it. You know, I don't. I don't, know I don't even know how they judge how the money comes they in. They care how much money they make. Yeah. 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 Every year, once a year, you get a check on the state. Yeah. It's probably so. You know, I'm sure because they're not going to say, "Well, they only have two established rights," or they're not going to know how many you actually have within your jurisdiction. Nor do they have a person out there to go yeah. and check on it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 And I probably need to explain this real quick. But before I explain why the numbers here look different than the numbers that are in the front that I just told you, probably the biggest one, they're not too concerned going to the right. What they're really concerned about is the general fund. Yeah. And the general fund shows that if we had a negative figure of 128000 First of all, that's kind of timing, and, and some of it had to, if you did go back and way in the back and look at the general fund, there's a comparison between this year and last year. Last year, the federal grants was pretty significant, and what it was, it was the well, the yeah. And last year, we didn't transfer, you know, like the, right. so, I remember that. And so that's what the difference is. The same thing, you like to say, well, you lost 100. I mean, arguably, maybe that, you know, we, we 
built that property, or you know, X number of years ago, and it was built for the cost of give or take a buck, three million dollars yeah. to make, and we saw that before. Who knows? But this is based on what it was built for, not okay. what it could sell for today. If, you know, so we can buy it outright from us or whatever. Uh,
And they they have a permission. I honestly don't know either. I mean, you're, you get so much money for what you have. You're saying they don't know how many are in our district. I think they would. Do we know that? I, I would think they would know that. They would know we're on a lower scale, though, yeah. right? Yeah. So.
All set? Okay. Any other questions in there? Or did you guys notice there's two months oh. there? <laughs> I have the financials yes. up today. Mm -hmm. You know, I do have another question. <coughs> sure. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm looking at this. Okay, so this is the. Um, I'm still on the financial oh, budget short. I'm, I'm under the the recreation and culture, the senior program. I know that I've probably asked this before, but who runs the senior program? Mr. White. Oh, you run all those events and things that they do? I, I employ a person who reports to me. Okay. That, that so how do they, they receive income? You guys, the uh, township yes, uh, pays so us. Uh, we do that. Yeah. Oh. Off the top of my head, I'll let you know what the amount of Let's say it's 15. 12, yeah. Yeah. We don't, we take care of all of the, we take care of the employee, the events, uh, all of that. We don't take care of any of the uh, maintenance of the building or the, like if the, the furnace, yeah. you know, fails to work or something like that. We, we don't, we don't take care of those kind of uh, infrastructure issues. Just to run the program. Right. Operation. Okay. I just wondered because I thought, well, who was that? Because I'm just trying to connect it to other senior <coughs> programs and other. We just programs. turned it over. So 
hopefully Sharon's saying that. I think they're supposed to meet next week. So hopefully by January we might have something concrete to you guys. The, uh, the other thing is Jeff Trader, who's at the Planet Economic Development at the county, he sent out a request, uh, I think it was earlier this year, we agreed to pay $500 on this cycle if, if a piece of property got accepted. He needs a letter of intent from us, which we have, if we look back through the minutes, we did vote on this. But he needs a letter of intent from us so that he can take, when he goes to the state to apply for the grant, he can say, yeah, I've got these communities that are willing to, uh, are willing to support us in that way. And he well, hasn't received one from us and he was asking, asking me about it. So, and somewhere along, he, he supposedly sent us a letter, but it's been a while. It's probably been back in the early late spring probably or something. Do you know who he sent it to or who he was I, Well, he sent it here, but I don't know if it came to you or the supervisor or what. He didn't send it to me. You know, he has to get it from one of you guys. I think we're reaching out to Jeff too and see yeah. if he can resend something. Or yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you remember doing that when you were supervising? Yeah. Before first? We've done it. He had this. We've done it. Yeah. Well, in the past, yeah. I remember. Yeah. He actually yeah. Yeah. put the letter together. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's all. You just have to sign back and say yes. Is that to get that $4,000, $5,000 grant that Samuel Nichols goes around all the time? And I think that's the letter. Yeah, that came from the county because yeah. the property was, in which we'll probably get it again because a piece of property is in our township. Yeah. If it was in another township, they would receive it. Well, just the same so yeah. I think it will come through you. Yeah. yeah. I'll get you up and follow up. Yeah. See when we can get that okay. caught up. Other than that, that's all I have on that at this time. Okay. okay. Any questions for Bert? I have one question. Bert, is that 500 that they want the intent? Is that above and beyond what we pay? We don't pay the two because we're the treasurer. But does that report. cover the above and beyond? Yes, this is this is like if, if let's say the property that's that's going right now is the fall property. If he gets accepted at the state level, then they will want that money. If we don't get any property accepted, we don't own any money. It only it only takes effect that if uh, the grant is going to go through, or if we've got an application that successfully received the grant from the state. And then we personally will have we, to pay the we, extra five hundred. An extra five hundred, yes, because every township has agreed to do that, okay. regardless of where the parcel is. Yes. You know, they, the other townships did, a, did that for us when we've had the property in our country. Right, right. I remember okay. that came through, but I don't remember at making a transaction out of our general account to PDR uh, we, with we Jonathan did, Square. We haven't, with it all. we haven't had to do that because all the property has been in our township. So we've been actually dumping more money in because uh, <coughs> we've yeah. paid for other stuff along the way. That's yeah. true. Yeah. And why well, I guess this kind of coincides with this, so maybe I'll bring it up now. On the office manager, <clears throat> I see Chris had put it in there that uh, Paul had went out and monitored the Montgomery property, but she makes no mention, and I don't know if they're all done at the same time, or maybe they're done at different times. You know, that property has to be monitored, but we should have my property on there now, and we should have. Uh, Christensen property of the land we sold them. That needs to be monitored too. So I don't know. I think it will come up next. next so maybe, maybe it comes, it might come at on the anniversary of when the property went in. I put Chris in touch with with Chip. Oh, okay. Skip. Is he Skip or is he Chip? I can never get that straight. Yeah, Chip or Skip. He corrects us and then I go back to the. <laughs> <laughs> but it, that was my question on the offer speak. Yeah. Thing was whether that monitoring you uh, would think they would put them all at once and then they could just send the whole thing in. And but I thought since off. yours was so current, maybe, it didn't need it. maybe. I thought is what he had said. Yeah. But so he was like, moving forward. Yeah. We yeah. One year to see. Well, the, the, the state would probably ask us. I mean, they're the ones that are monitoring. They're the ones that want to know. 
So I think they come up and say, hey, have you looked at that? Yeah. Physically went out and looked at that property. We're about a year with years now, right? Yeah. But we so did get a hold of her on Montgomery's. Yeah, because that's been in there for a while. Right. Yeah. I mean, Paul's been doing that for the last four, how many years that's been in. But don't they, every year, they'll, yeah, check, every they'll year, check that? Every year you have to send in a, a report. A report. Yeah. And so I think they'll, they'll add you on. That's and then, I think so. Yeah. Who else is this? Or Stone Lady's in there too? Stone Lady's on there. They have to, they have to monitor that, and then the first one all gets in, they'll have to monitor that. We'll be seeing them guys soon. Mm -hmm. When Jim closes on this yeah, property, that's so then yeah. I'll ask him. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Any uh, anything else on farm and Okay, Perfect. Thank you, Vern. I'll do the information with you. Um, next, uh, then we have tonight is the building report. Yeah. Yeah. Really, I don't think we have anything significant uh, from the board tonight uh, with regard to the building. Uh, things still uh, go very, very well. With the addition of our, our maintenance uh, person mm -hmm. that, is, uh, that is doing this more than more than we had actually ever expected uh, with regard to some of the cleanup uh, things here around the around the building uh, and uh, getting some of the workload off some of our paramedics in these days just um, really run constantly for 24 hours when we're on a ship. So uh, so it's a real pleasure to have you here. And thank the board for supporting that uh, that that position. Um, the uh, we are taking a look at, and I'll get some information in front of the board uh, uh, here shortly. Um, there's been a couple of uh, questions asked about the lighting within our parking lot area. Um, it, it is dim. There was a reason for that at, at one point in the, in the building of this facility when we were a little concerned about you know not creating too much light in a generally agricultural area. And as much as we don't have a lot of neighbors anymore, and we do have people that like during elections and things need to, you know, come in and out of the buildings oftentimes in the dark. Now, uh, this may be something that we need to look at. So I am um, obtaining some bids for what it would cost to simply, uh, or possibly, I guess, uh, increase the lighting in the current pictures we have out there, just to give us some more, some more light. We will be able to simply uh, make a make a big change by saying we're willing to have more light on this property um, and and just adding um, I guess they call lumens nowadays in the LED world uh, to the to the lights that are out there. So more more information to follow. We do have some electricians looking at that. I'll have some information for the board uh, going forward. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, great. Any questions or concerns for Jeff? All right, fantastic. Thank you, sir. Uh, moving on, next item we have tonight is the assessment report in your packet. Uh, is there anything anybody would like me to take back to Christine this one? Hearing none, hearing none, we'll move on to the library report. Go ahead. Well, I did speak to Julianne about the library, and there was, um, I mentioned last time that they were having that collection for scarves and mittens, hats, and gloves, and they donated three, she said, very large bags and gave them to the Richmond Lions that are putting them together. And I guess they said there's like 28 families within our community that they're going to be giving them up for them and extras will go to, I think, is it you, Jeff? Yeah. Not you personally. But she said EMS for hats, gloves, scarves. They may be dropping them off there. So the, sure. um, the community may or may not be aware for the last number of years since the new uh, you know, EMS building has been constructed. The, the Richmond Goodfellows, which is operated for Alliance Club, uh, actually uses our building as what I like to call the North Pole, or their local mm -hmm. version of it. Uh, they uh, they put together their baskets um, for food uh, and, uh, and toys for children, and, uh, and and I would think probably the hats and scarves are all part of that. Um, our part of it, it I, I want to give all the credit for the credit, is that we, we take no credit for any of it, other than we have a bay that they can use, uh, the, uh, the Richmond Good Fellowship of the Fall, that happens yeah. yeah. to be within the community's building there uh, on 30 Mile Road. Well, that's nice that there, I mean, that's a lot of families in my opinion that need some extra help. So that's really good that there was people, they were able to pull all of that together from donations. And then they just had the cookie sale that generated $1,600. Mm -hmm. I 
Yeah, it's their eighth. No, 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 28th, sorry. Um, so it's pretty good. So it's their eighth. No, 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 28th, sorry. Um, they also, she also said that they have um, slightly new, nearly new, she called them, books that you can get right now at the library for sale. For, and they're only the last two years, so they're, they're pretty new. If you wanted to give them as gifts, she says they're very nice and hardcover books. And um, they always do that, too, where you can go in and, and donate a book, write it out to someone and donate someone. And they have some available that you can do that, you know, as a gift. So I don't even have the book on your behalf. It's kind of nice. Um, and there are spots available still for kids to decorate cookies. I said, and I thought when she said, it's cookie decorating, and we have spots available. I'm like, yes, I want to go. But she said, no, it's for kids. So um, that's where they're not crying. <laughs> and then um, there is another event, she said, on Monday. They're going to have a Christmas themed story time with Miss Richmond's coming, and they'll be there at 6. And that's kind of it. But we do have the link, and I did check it out, and it's on our web page. I checked it out, and I think it brings you right to the Richmond Township Library. Or to the Lowe's Memorial Library, I should say. You're very good. It's good. Yes. Right. Well, any questions for everyone? Thank you so much. Moving on, uh, we got a recreation report. Uh, so we did have our first annual uh, Santa visit last night over uh, at, at the township here. We had about 42 children there with their families. I thought it was a pretty good turnout. Um, thank you to Kathy and Elaine for coming last night and supporting us. And thank you to uh, Rick, Jonathan, and Brian for decorating the tree. It looks lovely. We're going to leave that on until after Christmas. And also thanks to Chris and Jan in the office for their help uh, with some of that rating over there. Um, overall, I think this is the first year of recreation calendar year. We had four events. Um, I think we thought at the beginning of the year if we had 20 kids in each one, we would be happy. Mm -hmm. And we exceeded that with all of them, and we learned a lot. So we're going to talk about some changes and some improvements today, but hopefully it will be even better next year. What? Mr. Green, yeah. Oh, okay, yes. thank you. That's right. My husband spent two days wrangling light poles. In Santa? <laughs> In the tractor? Yes. I've had better days. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he has. <yes. laughs> so, so I wanted to say, who did that tree? Who was the person that did the lights on that tree? So it was uh, our recreation board members. Oh, Jonathan, Jonathan did it? Brian uh, Steinberg and Rich Rowe. So the, well, that was one thing I threw out that I knew I wasn't going to be able to do. That was great. Was I was not going to be able to get up on the ladder and, you know, that I wasn't going to volunteer him for either because he gets volunteered for enough. Um, so I put it out there twice and finally I said, listen, the, tree, the, the lights are here, someone's got to do it. So Rick, I guess, used to work for Comcast and he said they had these wonderful, like, eight or nine foot extension poles with the hook on them. So that's how they got up to the top of it. They did great. So they're on a timer now, and they'll probably, the tree will probably be decorated. Like I said, through the first week of January or something. Looks very nice. They did a good job. Yep. I think the tree committee needs to be commended for what they, you guys have done a lot. That's for not really having, I didn't know what you guys were going to do when you started. We didn't either. We had no idea either, but we've had a lot of fun. Uh, a very good group of people who are all willing to pitch in, and everybody kind of knows the lane they're in and what they're going to do. And so, yeah, it's been, it's been fun. Like I they said. Thank you. That's amazing. We've had a good time. Hopefully, some kids have had a good time. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, it was great. Right. Any uh, questions for uh, recreation before we move on? Once again, thank you. Uh, moving on to the NEMC report. Well, I don't have a lot of information about this that's any different from our other previous NEMC reports. However, we did just have this little discussion before we started that I thought it would be a great idea as well to inform the community 
that it would be a great spot. Our landing our page could be the landing page for them to, hey, what what did we do with the, you know, what, what's going on? Are there videotaping things with our funds, you know? And it would be a great place to have a link that they could see the video. Because Anita is always wonderful to okay. be there. She is a rock star. <laughs> yeah. She's there mm -hmm. in the cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Standing outside. So, yeah, I, um, I'm going to bring that up and I go, or you're going to also. I can bring it up too. We're going to go no, and get, yeah, and get some information on that. But other than that, we did change our date to the 20th of um, December rather than the last week be in it. And the other, let me verify, is that just because we're going over budget? Yes. Yes. Okay, so that was the reason that needed to be done before. Right. Right. Okay. Yep. That was really good. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Any questions for Elaine regarding any of the All right. Well, thank you so much. We'll work on that link. That's a great idea. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, moving on to unfinished business. Uh, in the back end, you've seen that. Uh, we did speak with some uh, rich folks at the, <coughs> the public relations folks at the county, and they, they would be. They weren't going to come out here to do a presentation, but they said we, they would like a couple board members go down to their offices and meet and discuss the program. they're not willing to come out here? Well, I did kind of say, well, you know, um, Mr. Archimedes and the Drake Commission, they come out and do presentations once a year. He said, well, the last few presentations they did didn't end well because they part of the road. And I guess they did that. Yeah. Yeah, people got pretty upset at them and it just turned into a big... Here? No, not here. Just I was going to say, no. I can't imagine that our residents would... That is not... We were here once and I don't think I was on the board. I was in the audience at that time and it was, it was kind of ugly for them alone. But they said historically it doesn't go well for them to come out to the township board. I tried to say that it was pretty easy. Yeah, right. When I was here, you wouldn't have much to worry about. <laughs> but they still felt better having a couple more members come down. Part of the game. I no. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're telling us we want to charge you a quarter of a million dollars and we don't have anything to say about it. Right, yeah. And, and that irritates me. And they don't want to come out. Yeah, at the very least, they can drive out here during the day and meet us at our building. Why don't you go back and tell one of our demands that if you want our money, <laughs> you can come out. I'd be really happy to deliver it. I mean, I, I understand, it, from, what, from what I understand, mm -hmm. Probably if we didn't agree to do it, they're going to close the bridges down to the inconvenience the people that live here and yeah. our emergency yes. services. We cannot do that. We simply cannot do that. But well, we should be able to. You know, I the, the one loan that I have shared, I know they would have to be the people to apply on mm -hmm. our behalf to get that loan. I did see another one today. Uh, I went on the MTA website. There's a, a local township loan we can apply for between three and 30 years on that. The questions are, are they, are they going to, you know, this is for 2025, are we going to have another 250 in 2026? We'll make our own, we'll have no money soon, right. <laughs> you know? Right. And, and, and even, if it, even if they're five years apart, I mean, that's still, I don't see that feasible with, you know, what we're operating with. So, I mean, what's the long-term plan? I mean, yeah. roads obviously statewide is a major conversation, but I think I was seeing something about Bradley Township, their board's trying to do something that I think the is city there. just went up with this as well. Did they? They weren't very happy either. Well, I think well, another township's like targeting certain people, not the whole. It, 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 it's kind of becoming an issue now, but I'm kind of watching that. Just I'm curious to see where they're going with all that. But not saying that's what we're doing here, but you know, some kind of. Can you fill in those blanks of the sentence that you're skipping there? <laughs> yeah. It makes sense what I thought you just said. Bradley Township evidently is taxing farming operations for road maintenance oh, no. and they want to tax them higher mm -hmm. to maintain roads. There's going no, to I'm not big with that. No, 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 I'm not saying I am either, but I'm just saying there's, and there's going to be some um, unofficial meetings happening and, and certain farmers to discuss what they're going to do and sign mm -hmm. petitions and all that. So, but like here, what would be a long-term solution for this? I'm not saying raising taxes for road money, but I'm just saying we need to further go down the loan route or the we're not paying route. Well, the trick is, in order to have a millage for roads, don't you have to own roads? I mean, they're the county roads. Yeah. So I don't, I don't that's, know that we can that's where do I that. That's what some, I think that's what Cement was getting at. Yeah, but we I, can't. He says you cannot. Think you can do that. You're not <clears> the road condition. Right. Right. You know, so I, I don't know. Yeah, that's I mean, I, I feel it's going to have to be low. Yeah. It, 
Uh, I would think it's going to have to be because we can't take a quarter of a million dollars out in 25 and then maybe again 28. And I just. Well, yeah, it's just going to continue. Right. But what do we want to do with this? Do we want to go down and beat them? Or do we want to turn around and request them? I'm definitely going to come out here. Even if they want to come out here, here, come come out here yeah. during the day sure. yeah. to our place yeah. and they don't want to be leaving. I mean, I think we have a right to voice that opinion. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Who is the contact person? Uh, there's a, a guy named Eric Dimoff. He does all public relations oh. and publications. I know him. I get a lot of emails from him on a regular basis, I'm sure, with closures and everything. I'm not holding it. Don't So I, I like, you know, we can yeah. get. I feel like we, I, I, I would imagine we could probably get most of us and we have a special meeting and notice it and whatever, because I think we probably all have a lot of questions. Yeah, it has to be open to the public. Right. Yeah, I mean, maybe not like that. I mean, I can see their point as a starting point. That we just open, keep communication going. That only two of us meet with, mm -hmm. and that uh, go from there. Somewhere down the line, we might have to have a public meeting. Absolutely, if we're gonna, if we're gonna, you know, spend a lot of money here. But just like you say, what gets me with them is that you no, know, we don't really want to communicate with you. Yeah, I mean, they come on their terms, I guess, and that's not. They need to be a little more. Yeah. Well, I can see, you know, they've come out here two, three times and they said, well, why don't you come down there? I can see, yeah, we'll, get her. we'll go back and forth. But I would present that we still got a little time on them. Yeah, that's what sure. I would do is present it back to them and say, hey, could you meet with us out here? Because mm -hmm. they're the ones asking for the money. Right. We're not asking them, they're asking us. Right. Yeah, and how I understand it is they pick that cost up for us for years and years and years yeah. and years through the county life. So when it was really our responsibility, I just feel like they did it for so long and then they come back and it, it just seems like it's not twenty thousand dollars and to us a quarter of a million dollars is a lot of money to us. Absolutely. It's all our money. <laughs> yeah, in the long run, yeah. 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 It is. Yeah. No, I'll I'll make it. And you'll come back and they'll say, no, you can come and see us. But if you'll make it and that's all you, we can ask you. Well, then yeah. Yeah. if they say no, say, okay, then we're just, we'll proceed the way it is because they well, if they, say, if they say no, I think we should go we should out there. Yeah. You know, if they're not willing to do it, we, we can't be just, we don't want to get them. No, they're going to win. Or right. Let's, yeah, let's right. keep yeah. the communication going. Right. You know, so. Right. I'll give them one more shot. Don't worry about that. And remember, they did commit the funds to the state in the touch area. Thank you. And I need to ask the question then. I thought that at some point in time or that I always heard that oh, something's taxed and that money goes to the roads, right? Gas. Act 51, yeah. I think, is it gas? Yeah, it's a gas and bill registration. And does, a, does, a does it apply to the, it being a road? A bridge, it's part of the road. So wouldn't those funds still go towards this or not? The county already spends way more money on our township just to maintain our roads than they get from taxes from us. Oh, or it's not over twice. Just our county or our township, I mean it's our county, right? <clears throat> I mean it's a statewide tax. tax. Right. Okay, but we're not the only one that's getting bridges. Nope. So is this across the whole state? Correct. Oh, they're the asking everybody. I think they're at least on the county level. Yeah. They want us to, to start so. putting putting some money in. Yeah. So you're talking about Macomb County. Is it Macomb? Yeah. Is it Oakland? Is it all the counties or just I don't Macomb? Know how the ones are I don't know how each individual county's handling it. I know Macomb Maybe. County, but like other townships are contributing funds, but they also have much larger income budgets too. Oh yeah, and a denser population. We're the most rural here. Yeah, that's what puts us. Well, what well, SAD is that we need to set up three houses on the street for not only me. No, yeah. it is not effective, so it's not enough.
questions. Yep. Yeah. Ready to roll. Yep. Yeah. I will keep you tuned on that. Okay. If nothing else on that, we'll go down to Bobby update. We do have an update. Um, a while back, they were offering grant money. Well, the state got grant money to give us voting boxes, right? Like the one that we have out there for Cheryl, that Cheryl and Bob okay. organized to get, yeah. right? And we had it all within the right specs of everything and used that. But now they're saying we need to take the one the state is offering. We don't have to pay for it. It's already paid for through a grant. So. Lori get to pick out our box, and it's a pretty one. But anyway, there is a form out there that's going to be poured for it. Okay. We're supposed to get it before the February election, so there's going to be two. They're going to be side by side. And then I thought I would take a scraper and scrape off the one that's for taxes, scrape off the ballots off of that one. So now we we comply. That's the biggest thing. Is that standard actual, comply. That to me, it was kind of. Not a waste of money, but it's a big money grab. What are you going to do? Yeah. They, it's already paid for. And then um, this room's all set up for the early voting. All the locks are set. We got all our equipment coming, and Lori's been working on the postcard, so she'll be going up soon. We got a lot in the works for really. late. The state's finally kicking in on everything oh, we're sure. supposed to. Oh, sure. We got your two. You, you, those two are going to be great. <laughs> We're still working on it. We've got enough people. Okay. It's just a matter of putting them all in. The, yeah, organizing. Yeah. There's a lot more to do yet. Other so, than that, though. Is that what you guys you guys went to this conference? Is that basically what that. The one me and Elaine went to? Well, the bill said it was the clerk and deputy clerk. Well, that was our regular. Oh, just a regular. Yeah, but to be it was all really, it was all about, about election law and what's about. coming up and, yeah. and then the state got up there and told us pretty much that they still don't know what's going to happen because they don't have any, what they, they told need. me that today, yeah. that is that training today, same thing, we don't know yet. Yeah, so at the last minute we're going to know, yeah. I'm sure, we'd like to know how. I, we just decided we're going to try and run it the best we can, yeah. I mean, that's all you can do, it's a big, learning lesson for everybody. Nobody really knows. We're going to prepare for the unforeseen the best we can. I just, when I seen that, I thought maybe they had had some more information for you. When you went to that conference, you know, I thought maybe that's what it was. No, not Kind of really. bring you up to date on this stuff. Yeah. You no. just said stay tuned for a <laughs> And that's from every department, you know. Yeah. It just says, you know, 
a federal non-cash benefit program. So you can't be in a benefit program such as Medicare, Medicaid, food stamps either. I thought that's an aid to help you. So I'm thinking, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I can see it's saying, oh, we don't want you to have all this bank accounts and stocks and jewelry and second home, rental property, gives lump sums, but programs such as Medicaid, Medicare, food stamps, and school lunches, it didn't make sense. Yeah, I can see where that'd be pretty good. But little. this is not, we didn't come up with this. This Correct. is already something that goes, I just thought that it was just odd. You know, it was a little odd. Mm -hmm. It didn't make sense. But you, they need that. People need to have that. Food stamps, need that. Okay. Is it really where welfare goes into conflict with Medicare? Is there something different if you are at a poverty level do you not get? Is it something else that I don't think Okay, so Chef's mom was poverty level, below poverty level. Mm -hmm. And so she would be able to go and get the free handouts from the outreach centers and stuff. Mm -hmm. But anything that cost money, she was not able to. And I don't think she had Medicare either. But I don't think she ever got charged when she was sick. So maybe it is. I'm it's wondering if it has to go to. I don't. I didn't ever try in for a business that are no where the I just the bills just, are going. I just didn't know. Like the mm -hmm. You might be in a disability program, or, right. or if you're on a, mm -hmm. if you're a vet, you might have so an extra income there. And her dad, mm -hmm. her husband was a vet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He had four hundred dollars. So you never know. I guess. I right. Don't, Yeah. I'm with you at the meeting, Nico, because apparently I am the road 
Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true.
if he, if we did, he's trying to stretch it as far as he can go. They've got another but million. I think they did the whole edge way. Well, so the fact they went all the way through. They've got another million dollars to work with. Their dues went up too. Did they? Yeah, the Clinton River watershed. Okay. Okay. They went up to those kind of homes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. He's going to be here either February or March. I asked him which one he wasn't sure yet. He's going to come in and talk about the board and okay. talk about. Um, I just seen that they did it, which is great. I just wanted to know are they going to want. He's our share money to have. Our share said, money. He said that he's getting a lot of pressure from his boss for, for spending, but he's trying to stretch it as much as he can because he knows our corner of the, the county really needs it bad. Yeah. He said any consideration and budget time for any more money, you can stretch it yeah. even further next year. I said, well, we'll discuss that at budget time. I know we bumped it from 5000 to twelve five. I said, just got to see what we got at the time. Yeah. You know, that's why we discussed, but keep, yeah. keep stretching it. Then I had a question for you, Jeff. In your uh, grant lock funds, you can put that in there. You stated in there that there were some other grants available if we would be interested in them. Is there anything in there that's significant that we maybe should be trying to get or, or no? Um, there are some bricks and mortar uh, you know, funds that, I mean, we could put on our thinking caps and try to put something together for it. The reality of it is that one, they're competitive grants, so there's they, they, you can put a tremendous amount of work into them and not okay. receive them. So it's not like the old days of CDBG funds where you know you got thirty or forty thousand dollars yeah. to come up with a project for it. Um, I guess if the township thought in the future it wanted to Pursue those. They've been doing these competitive grants now. This is the second or third year uh, that they've done them. My suggestion, I think, would be we need to have that discussion not uh, now, kind of in what's almost January when they have to be allocated in February. Yeah. Yeah. We need to have that discussion in March for next year this time. And then the township would really have to be willing to say, um, we need somebody, you know, at least for a part of the year, another X number of hours a week yeah, to not only write the grant, grant, but then with those CDBG grants, especially if there's a significant administrative piece of traffic throughout the year. Mm -hmm. And so we would need to say to township employee X, uh, you know, or, or, or a different township employee, we need to, we need to budget to pay you another five, six, seven hours a week in order to really take are, this out and manage the property. Are the grants that significant that we're aware we pay them to do that? It, in my opinion, they are not. Uh, that's why- 150 the, is the highest you can The EMS is basically walked away from them for the most part because by the time you break the grant, track it, pay some minister, uh, you know, and, and follow all the rules, Sometimes it involves paying a higher rate for some of the work that has to be done because there's some Davis Bacon requirements, which means things have to be paid to use unit scale. So, so sometimes you're paying for the project, then you're paying somebody to administer it, then you're paying somebody to write the grant, and at the end of the day, if you're doing all that, really you're netting at the end it's twenty thousand dollars. You know, you, you have to ask yourself, is that is that a long time? Next, we have general public comment, and I would like to say something, but I think it would be easier to have Stacey Panel. Would you be able to give an update on our resolution and where you're thinking that might go? I can talk now, but I think you probably can. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I, mean, I, gave, I think I gave you the handouts that um, the governor did sign the legislation, so um, the state now controls the siting of the solar and wind farms and gravel pits. I think that goes into effect pretty quick in February or something. So um, that is done. Just 
despite our resolution. I can't believe that it didn't change your mind. Right. <laughs> I think they actually voted before the resolution even got in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they, the law passed, but she signed it. The end of November, she actually signed it. So it's a done deal. So, um, but our home, our voice, the group that's kind of the center point about everybody who's opposed to that stuff. There's a lot of townships involved in that. Um, they are planning either a referendum or a, maybe a, getting the signatures to have a ballot proposal to try to change that. So they haven't announced exactly what they're doing yet, but they are working with the legal team to figure out the best way to fight it. Because there's a lot of townships. There, I think there are over 80 townships and 20 some counties that have done similar resolutions to what we did that are opposed to it and, um, and a lot of people are not happy. She doesn't care, you know, they don't care this case anyway. So uh, I'll keep you posted on that and I know they were asking if you're involved in the Michigan Township Association to kind of keep pressure on them to keep on top of it and do what they can do to pressure the governor and the legislature to see what we can do about it. But as of now, that's going to be the law going forward. The Michigan Public Service Commission will, the three board panel, will determine. And I mean, they're supposed to work with the local zoning boards and stuff, but it's like ultimately, I think it's their call. Like if they want a solar farm somewhere, it's going to happen. So. I know the, you know, they have been asking us, coming to us about doing our Detroit Edison has told us that they have walked away from Richmond Township. They've had enough refusals and they can't seem to break in anywhere, so they said we're giving up on it. Okay. But that, I don't know about consumers, it was out there, right? Mm -hmm. and there's other private individuals. But yeah, so whether they're, that's the truth or not, I don't know. I think consumers have still been out there pressuring yeah. people from what even recently, from what I understand. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, I mean, because I've had people say to me, well, you know, how can you be against solar? Or how can you be against, you know, green energy, whatever? And it's like, that's not even an issue. No. <laughs> the issue is just who gets to determine, yeah. you know, and, and I feel like we can be agreed with that resolution and we should, yeah. we can figure out what's best for our community. And sure. if we want some solar, that's fine, but let us, but, you know, figure out the setbacks and the heights of the wind towers and all that stuff. Yeah. Well, but the, the mining one is almost, can almost be a bigger issue. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much for that update. I figured you could explain that much better. So, being on the front lines. Thank you. Any other public comment for that? Yeah, I got some, unfortunately. Um, first off, the Santa thing last night was, was pretty good. Um, I was really ornery. Cold. Didn't want to be here. And then when I pulled in with my tractor, was sitting on the back and saw all those little kids' house. It was, it was really cool. But I have a couple people I want to thank. Um, Rob Trent, the Richmond um, Fire Chief, who gave up some of his busy day to come out and leave Santa in. Um, Bobby Christensen, who donated the straw. Um, Greg Joel, um, Greg donated the trailer. For Santa to ride on, and he also brought a light tower um, for us to use. But uh, all in all, that went really good. Um, an update on point and pay. Uh, point and pay, hopefully, fingers crossed, will be online the first or the second week in January. Um, not a hoops to jump through there, but hopefully that will be, that's the plan right now. They tell me first week, but I'm saying first or second, just in case. Um, also, there was some discussion, too, when we originally talked about this, about payment going forward. <coughs> the way I understand it is, because we paid up front, there won't be, right now, and this guy's, the guy that I deal with has been there for, uh, I think, 10 years, because we paid up front, which was for three years. There won't, there isn't any, after three years, there's no charge after that. Okay. Once we pay the I think it's $2,000. Now he said that could change. But yeah. right now, that's the way it is. There's no, 
there's no um, no further payment due unless they change that. So hopefully that will stay that way. And hopefully this will this works. I hope. Yeah. I think there's one more thing, but it must not have been part of it. Oh, taxes. <laughs> there's an issue with some tax bills. And some of you might get a complaint. If you combine a property with another one this year, there's a good chance that you got a tax bill on the on your old piece of property that you combined for just garbage. You got one. Okay. Well, I'm trying to go over with BSNA why that is happening. And I can understand the, the new ones this year, why it's happening, but we've got properties that have been combined for three to four years that are still there. No one knows why. BSNA can't tell me why. I'm getting a little aggravated, but hopefully we're hopefully taking steps to so alleviate that next year happening. But Vern, look at look and see. Yeah. Because you, you got one, you know. Yeah. But uh, people have been very good. I well, maybe it was a little upset, but we got all worked out. People have been very understanding with it. Um, so in case anybody gets it, is, is, that that the, is that the only issue I had with the BSNA, or is there other stuff coming up that you don't care for these people? Or? No, no, and, and that's, I just want them to tell me. Yeah, I understand why it's happening with the new. Yeah, I can see that. I can, I can understand that. I'll, I'll get behind that. I'll get on that. But I think one fella, this is his third year, and he got another bill this winter. And it's retired on Christine's half, and it's coded 001 on our half. And that means it's retired. But it still shows as active on our half. <coughs> BSNA says it, it, you know, um, it's, it's assessing. I said, well, it's not assessing. And so I feel like I haven't talked to the correct person at BSNA yet. We'll, we'll get to the bottom of it. But it's, that's a little, we'll, we'll get worked out. Yeah. Just so, in, in case you feel any questions, and I know we're going to build, so take take a look at it. And don't don't just pay it because I don't I don't think you owe it. Okay. Right, thank you. I don't have to pay the tax. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Merry Christmas. <laughs>